so before the vaccine was available, um, Alicia did keep working at Hy-Vee, and we had, but we had to stay home a lot. Um, with Down syndrome, there is a little bit higher risk of getting illnesses, and so uh, we were very cautious in teaching Alicia like what to do and how to have safe hygiene, and she wore a mask all the time and you know we just didn't really go out i had friends that were urging me to not have alicia vaccinated because they thought it wasn't enough time it wasn't tested and um, for myself you know you kind of wonder those things too like is this going to be a safe thing to do but if you look back through time in the last hundred years things like the polio vaccine came out very rapidly and other vaccines it's not new information now, like we know how to do it as far as the science world. We don't want to be limited. We want to have freedom of choice on what we're, where we're going, what we're doing, and just feel safer. And so Alicia got the vaccine first, and then I was able to get it shortly after. What is the bigger risk? Will I get sicker with the vaccine or sicker without the vaccine? And we felt confident we would get sicker without it. And that was scarier. So we didn't want to be so sick that we'd be put in the hospital. And so we felt like with the vaccine, if there was a mild side effect, like there is with every other medicine that we take, then we should take it.